Lucas, can you even imagine that challenge that, that, that Liam and the rest of the players have faced when you've been that close to the thing that you're desperate to do and then all of a sudden somebody goes, no, that's it, it stops now? I mean, Jesus, it would have been a great challenge, but I can, I can appreciate, you know, what they've gone through the last two months because, you know, especially when they're on a roll and they're playing so well and the fitness is that high, Level, you know, stop abruptly like that, and then and I one eye on the champion, on the, on the winning, uh, winning the, the, uh, the league, and the other one is to actually play well and winning games week in week out. You know, uh, it must be really really difficult. But I think uh, uh, it's a test. I think it's a test of character. You know, uh, it's a test of professionalism in terms of what the players can bring to the to uh, 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 to, to the club. And uh, I mean, listening to Liam here saying that it's the first day the boys were, 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 were I mean, I appreciate how hard they work and how they take it really upon themselves. You know, to get themselves in the level that they are, which is which is which is that's great. That's commitment. You know, these are the players that have the same vision, you know, that they want to do well and, 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 and be rewarded accordingly, you know, by playing in the Premier League. Because I believe, having seen them, having watched them, that's where they belong. Uh, which, it, it's, it's, I haven't seen such great football, you know, in a long time. I mean, we like that. At least the super sport is showing it's showing this game. It's showing this game. And it's absolutely amazing watching more on telly. And it gives me goosebumps you know, to see the crest, to see the familiar surroundings, and the atmosphere. You know, and, and it's it's all about the, uh, the squad, those individuals that are in the field of play that brought this together, which was absolutely fantastic, which I think during our time. You know, I, I, you know, I, I can remember uh, uh, going out in the field of play, getting into the tunnel, listening to the noise. You know, when the Champions League, surely Liam, uh, you know, and, and the guys, I mean, they would want to, to play in the Champions League uh, and next now, which is a great goal. I, I think it's, it's it's a great goal for, for professional for professionals and for the club like this. One step at a time, Lucas. One step at a time. <laughs> Lucas, you came through so many challenges in your own life, never mind your career. I mean, you got shot in the back before you arrived at, not too long before you arrived in Leeds. You came through all of that. So this challenge that's in front of Liam currently, which is completely unique in terms of what's happened to the game. We've never experienced anything like it before. But would you look on that as a positive thing, something that you've just got to be mentally strong and get yourself through? Like you said, focus completely on the professionalism. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, it's an, it gives them an opportunity to introspect as well, you know, as individuals. And, and, and again, uh, for me, I'll be looking forward to get back into that field of play, you know, and, and play the best football that I can. You know, uh, I mean, during those days, back in South Carolina, uh, I, thought, I thought I would never play football again. Yeah. But coming right from that injury uh, break, uh, I never looked back. I realized that, you know, in life you can you, you can be lucky, you know, and, and and what you have in front of you, you know, having a second chance in, in life, not in, having a second chance in life, is absolutely brilliant. And, and I started being positive in everything that I do, you know, and 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 and, and when I got to 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 football and look in that my career, I never looked back. I, every day I did things different. I worked even harder after after my injury, which was which was scary. But to appreciate life and appreciate that you know you had a second chance that you can play football again, you know you might as well play to the best of your ability. Yeah, and what a club to play for it. Do you feel the inspiration of stuff like that, Liam? Do you feel that? 
it's not pressure, I don't suppose. It's something you can use as a tap into. But you've got this whole, this football club, you're more than aware of the history surrounding it. Lucas is a big part of that history. But all the other guys, the guy we lost, Norman Hunter, tragically, you know, Trevor Cherry, who's gone since we were all back together for games. That's all part of the Leeds United story, isn't it? No, it is. And it's for them as well. Um, obviously, the ones who are, are sadly passed away are not with us anymore. It is. It, we're all part of it. And um, we want to be part of that history as well. Um, and we have these dreams in the back of our minds, what we want to go and accomplish. Um, and that drives us on. Um, the stories from, from from the past that it drives us on um, of what of, of what a great club is, uh, we are and, and and we can go on to be again um, and it, it really does but you've got to hold on onto them you've got to put it to the back of your mind um, and um, the manager actually came up with well he he told us a, a very good quote this morning um, and it was uh, be better than yesterday but don't be but you can't be as as you can't be as good tomorrow. So improve every single day. And, and that's what we want to do. Um, we, we've been working together now um, under this regime for a few, a few, a couple of years now. And we, we want to improve every day. And um, if we keep doing that and we can keep improving, we, we will go and be remembered like, like Lucas and, and like Norman and like Trevor. And um, that's what we all aspire to do. Marcelo Bielsa, it, it intrigues me about this process about, how you manage this as a manager now, because there's a massive challenge, again, pretty much unprecedented in terms. So what has been Marcelo Bielsa's strategy in terms of, well, now he's finally gradually got you back together to doing what you normally do, working on, on the grass? Um, obviously, there was there was not much contact at all. Um, the only contact we had was with, with the fitness coaches, really, with our with our running programmes, our, our football sessions. Um, but we we know this is something that as as no team has ever had to deal with before, and probably something no one will ever have to deal with again. Hopefully, um, and it is it's unique. Um, it's it's sort of a, a nine game mini season. It's a sprint, and we've got to be willing to to go full full tilt for for nine games. Um, and and I believe we can do that. Um, I believe we're we're the fittest team in the league, and I believe we're the strongest team in the league. And um, Obviously, seeing the lads over the last few days, there's not one lad in there who, who don't believe that, who don't believe we can we can go and, and be the best team in the league and, and win the championship. And and that's the mentality we've got to have. We've got to be strong um, and we've got to be mentally tough because it is going to be hard. It's going to be a slog, but it's one that we're, we're all going to stand up to and, and finish off. And hopefully um, we can do that. And like I said, take this club to, to the glory days again. And has the coach spoken to you on that basis? Um... Has he given you that sense of just picking up and going for it now? Yeah, yeah, he has. He, he, it was his first meeting this morning with us, and, and that was the message. Um, we, you've never been through this before, and you've got to really adapt yourselves and 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 commit yourselves to the cause because that's the way it's going to be. It's 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 nine games in a very short period of time, and um, we don't have the the preseason games to build us up or anything like that. And um, we're going to have. Not even three weeks, maybe two weeks of training, uh, two and a half weeks of training, and then we've 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 got to compete and compete to a high standard because every other team always there or within with a shout is not going to give us it easy. Um, obviously, everybody always wants to to beat Leeds United, and 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 that's the way it's always been. And um, we're a big culp in the league, and we, we we've got to ride that we ride with that on our backs and, and and prove to everybody that we are the best team in the league. Do you think they'll do it, Lucas? Are you confident in this team? I've been watching them. I've watched them, uh, Brina said earlier uh, on that uh, I think uh, it was the. Uh, actually, I'm lucky we still have that relationship with the club because then I, at least I get to come and watch some of the games. And I watch, I watch uh, early on, you know, uh, uh, I think the first three games was absolutely amazing. I think uh, the team, you know, that came together and, and play football at that pace and keep that pace all the time and, and and you look at the individuals you know and look at i mean these young players they, i mean you can see these boys are young they're committed they're passionate and, and the way they played i think everybody could see you know that this is the quality that that that, that that's going somewhere this is the team i mean Leeds united i mean the, the premier league is not the same without Leeds united isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So for me, I'm really confident that, uh, you know, uh, with the manager, you know, I've been, uh, I, I haven't met him, but I've heard of him, you know, how strange he is and uh, very interesting. But, uh, but to bring such a, a squad and get them to, to compete and week in, week out, you know, at that same level with the same commitment, it's absolutely amazing. And for me, that showed that uh, you know, this is the club that's not just happy to play football in the league, but this is the club that wants to play in the Premier League and even further than that. You know, I mean, I know uh, Liam, you from uh, Scotland and Jordan with, with, the, with the national team and looking at you guys, you know, some point and, and looking at the performance and, and the positive attitude that we have, uh, especially as a captain. I mean, it, that helps. Everybody, you know, uh, you, you know, to, to fight for the same uh, uh, goal and make sure that uh, you know become a, a, a unit that you know because because Ellen Road, Leeds United is just not a name, but it's, it's individuals that makes that name, which which I mean, absolutely amazing for me. Yes, I am confident that the guys are going to make it going. Forward. And I'm looking forward to coming and, and enjoy more of the games live. <laughs> so there you go, Liam. You've got to, the chief says you've got to do it now. Oh, no, 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 no pressure there, eh? <laughs> no, we, we'll be ready. Um, and the pressure. <laughs> we love up the pressure, eh? Final question for me, really. How is that experience going to? I mean, I, 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 you might not even know the answer to that. How is the experience going to be? <sighs> Uh, maybe speak to me after the first couple of games. It, it's, it's going to be strange. Um, I don't care any, what anyone says. It, it'll be strange. It'll be a strange feeling. Um, but I go back to us being professionals um, and getting the season finished. And, and if that's how it's got to be, that's the way it'll be. Uh, we'll adapt. Um, I don't think it'll be much change for us. But I think we'll have a couple of games on, on, on the ground at, at Ellen Road and just to get familiar with it again in the dimensions. Um, but we, we're used to to play in at, at, at such a high intensity, even training days, even the 11 v 11s, we we train at such an intensity. Um, the games become become easy. Um, it's never as difficult in a game as it is in training. So, and um, we're prepared for that. Um, the lads are prepared for that, and we know what we've got to do. Uh, we know what we've got to do to to be at our best. Um, the way we apply ourselves, the intensity we play, it's all got to be there. And if we can find that, and if we can do that consistently, um, I'm confident that we can we can get the job finished. What a fantastic way to finish off. Two brilliant captains of Leeds United, Lucas Radebe, a captain from the past, and Liam Cooper, a captain for now and for the future. Thank you very much, fellas. Lovely to talk to you. All the best with the training. Lucas, thank you for joining us as well, and we look forward to speaking to you all again. We're almost there. The restart date has been set. We're ready to get going again. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's go. Thanks, lads. It was an honour. Thank you.